What is up, my fellow YouTubers? Welcome back to Snack Testers, the show where we test snacks. Now, I was not actually planning on making an episode today, but I just so happened to be at the liquor store, and I saw a big group of beautiful women standing outside whispering something about how there was a uh, sexy goth bad boy inside the liquor store, so uh, yeah. uh, I had to check it out for myself, and I found one of my fellow YouTubers, the one and only King Cobra JFS. What is up, fellow YouTubers? Like, that's the truth. Women who say they want a decent guy, but they go after the same fucking asshole who treats them like shit, Eds. Yeah, I know you're a big fan of hard liquor. How's it taste? It's smooth. Well, King Cobra, I know you are a bit of a bartender yourself. Do you have any drinks you would like to prepare for us before we have our delicious snack test? What's up, YouTube? I'm coming at you guys today with another dank drink combo. This is one I like to have a lot before I do one of my video responses, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First off, you take your monster, and then, you know what I'm saying, you gotta have Mountain Dew, green and black. My favorite colors, yeah, yes. <laughs> goth, goth on goth, and that's what the goth girls like, and now that's goth on goth, <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying, a little Bud Light, it goes down smooth. You know, we're real men around here, so you gotta have the Jack because that's what a real man likes to drink. Now, some people might consider a cocktail of Monster and Jack Daniels to be desperate. What would you say to those critics? My trolls are pathetic, you know what I'm saying? I really rule their sad lives. Like, <laughs> they tell me, oh, better not drink that Jack Daniels, boy. <laughs> Block, delete, ignore, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, YouTube. Well, should we mix your drink up in this 64-ounce uh, soda bucket? I don't want to make it too strong because I think we're going to be doing some cooking. So, you know what I'm saying? If I do one for each of us, I'll do two seconds. All right. One, two. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a healthy amount. Ooh, and I love the smell. <clears throat> yes. A little Bud Light. That'll give us some extra fizz. It's smooth brewed. It's got uh, uh, rice, so you know what I'm saying? You got vegetables too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, nice and healthy. You're just gonna do the whole can in there? Yeah, I got some more wand money coming in soon. You know, Cobra Craft Wands. Oh, is that is an authentic Cobra wand? You brought it with That's you. That's right. Wow. Yeah, I got to ship this one out to another one of my customers. I just sold this one for $250. <laughs> so, wow, I'm in the wrong know. business, huh? Uh, well, not everybody is born with magic powers, but I studied the dark arts, I studied telepathy and oh, wow. um, electromagnetic fields. Do you know what I'm thinking about right now? Oh, uh, did I say, uh, I meant telekinesis, sorry, so I could move stuff with my mind. Well, you know that you're on the troll's mind 24-7, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's some real right. telepathy right there. That's what's up. All right, now you gotta have your monster. It's cold, it's sweet, you know what I'm saying? Because basically, it's you got the smoky tree flavor and Hold the on. smoky oaks of the Jack Daniels, and then you got the lemon lime, lemon lime you know what I'm saying? But then you That got is not smelling very good right now. You're gonna shake that bad boy up. <laughs> Be careful. Just a little mix, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just get it incorporated, you know what I'm saying, YouTube? Mm. Oh, yes. It's got, you know, you can kind of see like the brown from the monster, but then you got like the brown of the Jack Daniels and you got like a little bit of foam on top. Uh, I think you could have a little bit more because mine's kind of full and we got a little bit more left. Oh my goodness, YouTube, YouTube. This is like the perfect, it's perfect. Well, there might be a little bit more left. We could have a little bit more on top. Let me see, let me see. This might've been perfect amount. See, my trolls, they think I'm stupid. Look at that, look at that. My trolls <laughs> wow. think I'm stupid. They yeah. don't know about me. We filled up two tiny mugs perfectly. To the top. All right. Ooh. Well, should we do a toast and try out your delicious beverage? Yes. A circle of protection on homeboy Jimmy and this dank drink combo. So mote it be in okay. a witchy circle. Bottoms up. Mm. YouTube, that is dank. Surprisingly not as horrendous as I thought it would be. You got the sweetness from the monster. And then you got a little bit of sweetness from the beer too, because it's more sweeter than the Jack Daniels is. 
I think well, the beer is still, helping it. You could taste like the smokiness. You know what I'm saying? You could taste like the smokiness and like the wood flavor from the Jack Daniels is still in there. I'm not sure about the uh, Mountain Dew, but I don't really put that much Mountain Dew in compared to the other stuff. So let me see. Mm. Plus, it is Diet Mountain Dew, you know what I'm saying? We're healthy around here, so that might be part of it. But, but you're still getting a little bit of caffeine in there. And, you know, so that's what's important because it'll keep your cobra wiggling for the ladies. <laughs> yes. Will this beverage cure any five-year dry spell? I don't care when my dry spell ends. There are more important things than getting laid. First off, you know, most importantly, you have to have your Bond Tactical Soap because the pheromones will get uh, all the estrogen going in the of age ladies, you know what I'm saying, when you're around town. A sack is a why, it's not a need. Well, Cobra, now that we have our drinks ready, what delicious recipe are you going to prepare for us today? So I have some candy that I got for Christmas and I don't like to eat too much candy. I like to eat pizza a lot. So I think we're gonna cook up one of my favorite recipes called the candy calzone. Okay, let's let's go over to the test kitchen and see what it do. All right, you know what I'm saying. First off, what's the most delicious thing out there? Bacon. This is thick cut bacon. You know what I'm saying because you want to taste it when you put it in the calzone. If you got those thin slices, it's gonna be like you're eating little crispy bits. We want big, big bits, big chunks. Basically, it's just you just go ahead right here and you just give it a good smack. I don't think the scissors enjoyed that too much. Well, god damn it, YouTube. Actually, you're supposed to peel this back first and then hit it right here so it's like this. Oh, yes. That's what's up. And we just peel it back like this, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Open it up nice. Look at that dough, YouTube. That's soft pizza dough. Fresh. Mm. Yeah, that'll be perfect for our calzone. So then you can just get rid of that. Toss it up like Italians. Yes. Yes. So, you know, we're gonna be eating this with two people. So, you know, say you want a good amount of peanut butter just like that. I really like peanut butter a lot. Like, I don't know how goth it is, but you know, that's why I like a lot of different stuff. You know, I'm an artist, I make music. I'm so good at guitar, it's a wonder I'm not swimming in pussy right now, I'm just saying. That's good, let's get this bacon cooking up. Get that bacon grease, yes. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when this gothic bad boy showed up. Oh yes. This is gonna be so good, YouTube, you don't even know. It'll have plenty of room for the fat and, and the fat on the bacon strips to render down so then we'll have plenty of grease to fry our bananas in. It's gonna be dang, yes. So apparently there's a female ghost in this apartment building who thinks I'm attractive. All right, so while the bacon is frying up, you know what I'm saying, we gotta candy this bad boy up a little bit more. <laughs> yes. So we're just gonna take some of this brown sugar. And you did wash your hands before cooking, right, King Cobra? Uh, yeah, yeah, I put Bond Tactical Soap on my hands <laughs> about once every hour, you know what I'm saying? Cause I go outside for a cigarette about once every hour, so I just wanna always have some fresh tactical soap on me, just so that way if I go outside and there's some hot of age girls out there. It's like I want an of age girlfriend and the trolls want me to die. 
They'll be like, that goth dude is smelling good. And I'll be like, hey, yeah. how about you come inside and I'll show you something that's really good. <laughs> but I mean, it hasn't happened yet, but I keep putting on the soap, so it's just a matter of time. I'm waiting patiently, you know? Look. Mmm. Mmm. It's good stuff, YouTube. Uh, let's give our bacon a little flip here. Oh my goodness, you threw that, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. My good bacon grease. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. It's time to preheat. 420 degrees. Yes, please. Uh, that looks like it's about right, about right there. You cook everything at 420 degrees? Uh, it's the dankest temperature. So yeah, if I'm gonna cook a dank food hack, I mean, it's gotta be dank. You gonna chop it up with a fork? I think I could probably just break it up with my hands. All right, so our bacon grease is already nice and hot. So I'm just gonna take out this little piece because, you know, I don't wanna, well, <laughs> mm. And yeah, I'm gonna touch the banana, but it'll cook, so that's fine. I got I got a clean mouth. I just smoked a cigarette ten minutes ago, so that killed the bacteria. <laughs> I'm saying I don't know. Oh yes, that's so dank. Yes. Mm. You don't even know YouTube. I just want to make sure that these are all getting a good coating of bacon grease for extra dank flavor, you know, so it cooks fast, they're all very sugary. They're just enough, you know what I'm saying? Yup, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started when an of age, alive, cisgendered female, non-related, human, consenting gothic fangirl smelled my tactical soap. Uh, we're starting to get a little color on these things, so. I think that'll be good. Oh yeah, that's dank YouTube. People don't think that I could be a real chef, but come on. Okay, YouTube. So now that we got the dank bacon fried bananas on there, next up, you know, we gotta have a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Yes, please. You know what I'm saying? Cats know what time it is. <laughs> cheese time. <laughs> You know, I, I like cats. I especially like black cats because, you know what I'm saying, that they're with like Very witchcraft. gothic. They are very gothic. But next up, we got that fresh bacon. Oh yeah. Sweeter than love making. Uh, yes. Mm, still hot and greasy. I don't know, just, stick, just break that up. Like if somebody said they got something that free to eat and it's got bacon in it and then they didn't have any bacon, I'd be like, what? The actual flip, like, honestly, YouTube, that would not be cool. But we do everything cool. We do it extra dank, yes. Have you ever made this recipe for a woman who you were dating? Uh, well, you know, I would. Like, when I go down to the bar, you know, I'll and I see a hot of-age girl down there, like, I walk past her and she'll say damn that goth dude smells good but then the bartenders down there they say oh that's King Cobra JFS he's a YouTube celebrity and then when they hear that they go oh dang I would come back to his apartment and eat with him because I know he cooks great cooking videos on YouTube but then they see the trolls commenting on the videos and oh, I don't want to the trolls scare him away mm, yeah so it's all right because they're jealous. I rule their sad, pathetic lives. It is what it is. Anyway, YouTube, so you got this pepperoni. We do need some candy, so 
these are those candies I got for Christmas I was talking about. This is Sella, not a sponsor. 16 delicious cherries covered with real milk chocolate and a liquid center. So this is basically gonna go when it's in here. It's gonna well, let's let's push this down a little bit, YouTube, so it's a little more flat for our candy to be on top of. There we go. <laughs> And you think that these chocolate covered cherries are gonna go well with pepperoni and cheese and peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, basically, so this has got cherries and it's got uh, some liquid in it, so that's kind of like jelly, you know what I'm saying? So, and you know, chocolate is just fat and sugar, so that's peanut butter's fat and sugar. Yup, that's me. Is that it? Is that every ingredient for the candy calzone? Uh, no, we got, we're gonna wanna have some more cheese on top of this now. Oh, <laughs> not enough cheese yet. That's right, you know what I'm saying? Just say it, so it melts together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, chocolate doesn't usually melt without the help of cheese. Yeah, it's got the dairy, it's got uh, the lactose and the cheese, so that's the, <laughs> that's like the molecule that helps it melt more. Ah, oh, you lick mm. it from the base of the fork, okay, interesting. Mmm. That's a clean lick. All right. Now we'll go ahead and see how this bad boy is gonna fold up. Yes. All right, just like this. Oh yeah, it's looking dank, you too. Mm. And how long does this cook at 420 degrees? Uh, well, I think 18 minutes will be good. Okay. But, you know, just a little sprinkle of... That's still not enough sugar, huh? Just because it's going to caramelize, you know, because then people will notice, make sure to notice the dessert. It's just a little bit different for some desserts. Just a little bit to kind of, you know what I'm saying? A little bit just to let them know. Mm, just like that. Make sure you got a good grip. Perfect. Good to go. Yes. All right, circle of extra dankness on the candy cow zone. So mode would be in the cooker circle. If you'd like to cook in videos, subscribe for more. <laughs> All right, YouTube, let's see what it do. Yeah, caramelized real good. Mm. Super dank. It looks like it's got some horns. Yes. That's what's up. I mean, from the outside, it looks like it might be a normal food, so who knows what's going to happen when we cut that bad boy open. All right, you two, fresh out of the oven. Let's give it a nice dank cut and see what it do. That was good. Oh, you can smell that roasted chocolate immediately as soon as you cut into it. Sorry, the bun. Hard to cut, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Mmm. Cheesy, chocolatey goodness, huh? Get that cross section, you two. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That is just dripping. That is fucking soaked. That's like the girls at the bar in their panties, huh? When they that's see sweat. you walking in. Walnut sweat, calzone wet. Should we get to eating? Hey, no time like the present, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of goodness. So this is the King Cobra JFS Candy Calzone. Uh, cooked to perfection. Very much looking forward to devouring this cobra. How often do you eat this as a meal? Well, I mean, you know, honestly, I don't really have the chocolate cherries too often. Usually, uh, you know what I'm saying, my neighbor just hands them out because uh, they're diabetic, so they're not supposed to eat them. Uh, okay. I'll try to bite this, but I mean, I don't even...
Mm. Oh, mmm. Chocolate peanut butter. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes like. It reminds me of peanut butter toast crunch. You know what I'm saying? It tastes but, like a bunch of things mixed together that should not be in the same recipe, really. I think that's the best way to put it. I've never had something that tasted like candy, but also horrible. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, bro. This is dank, dude. <laughs> So you got the peanut butter, the sugar, the bananas, deep fried and bacon. You can taste the banana. So you know what I'm saying? Like, it kind of reminds me of like a peanut butter and banana sandwich in a way. But then you got the cheese. Mm, you got the cheese pull. And cheese is kind of fatty. So it's like, you know, you got dairy in there. Oh my, like the flavor of chocolate cheese, cherries, and meat all in my mouth at the same time is making me unintentionally gag just a little bit. Mm. It's, mm. oh my, and it's so wet. It's just dripping. I don't know if it's all bacon grease or melted chocolate, but it's fucking soaking wet in my hands. Well, you know, this plate, I can see a puddle of grease in this plate, so. Oh my God. I think the pepperonis might have had a little bit of grease in it. I think the six ounces of cheese might have had a little bit of grease in it, you know what I'm saying? It's good, YouTube. Mm. Let's see that cheese pull. Oh, God, I'm getting burned by the oil. Oh, yeah, that's a good cheese pull, YouTube. Let's get a, this some close-ups of this shit. Just so you can see what I'm dealing with here, people. Mm. Look at that delicious food. Mm. Look, I, I see a big bite right here of what looks like a full pepperoni and um, mm. chocolate. So let's go for that. Mm. 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 Oh, there was a cherry. Mm. Mmm. It's not pepper. good. <laughs> Cobra, I gotta tell you. If this is what you're cooking for your dates, I can see why you're having a dry spell. You might want to try a more traditional recipe. Well, like... This would be good. You know, as good as a regular calzone, you know what I'm saying? Like, you put... <laughs> as good? If you put, like... See, really, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to work with, like, one, one pair of ingredients... You could have your dessert, and you can make it this one. You could put the cheese and pepperoni with pasta, or like a marinara sauce for like a regular calzone. And then you could have, you could like have the other half of the dough, or if you got two things of dough, then you put this in for the dessert. It's a really good dessert. It's just a little sweet, so, you know, it's dank, but for a whole meal, it'd probably be a little sweet. You probably would cut this up kind of like a pie and have like a slice, you know, of like a pie shaped slice for dinner's dessert instead of having it for a meal. I just feel like most people would like their dinner and dessert to be two separate experiences. This is, you know, <laughs> I think that might be the main issue here. We got some bacon right here with some cheese. Mmm. <sighs> oh. Bacon and cheese is dank, YouTube. I'm sweating a lot suddenly for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I might have a few ideas. I think I'm going into diabetic shock from all the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I'm so sticky. I feel mm. disgusted with myself, and I've only had like five bites of it. <sighs> well, Cobra, I would like to thank you for making me such a dank meal. It truly was an experience, and to uh, pay you back, I would like you to just go hog wild with all the booze in my house. You can free reign, whatever you want to do. Wow, it's just like those shopping TV shows that I watch on my TV where they get whatever they want in the store. Hell yeah, well let me get another Bud Light, you know, I like that. Mm, it's good. I'm gonna take the rest of this Mountain Dew, yes. All right, we still got some of this nice ice cold monster. Yes, gotta have energy. You know what I'm saying, tubes? It's uh, to be a goth bad boy. 
All right, then Jimmy, he has some stuff here. I guess he got this for a housewarming gift. And uh, well, he said I could use whatever I want, so you know, hey. This is uh, Corv Ulcer. Yes, it's brown, that's kind of close to, you know what I'm saying, a little black and a little green. That's it, you're not gonna do more? Well, you know, when you have a drink combo, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta see how I do a little bit first. Cause you know we need a little more Jack, yes. I feel like you're going a little low on the booze with this one. It's 64 uh, ounces and you've got about three ounces of liquor so far. I'm working at it, okay. Then we got uh, Traddy Zone Autenica Vermouth, yes. Uh, Angustra Aromatic Bitter. Mm, bitter is goth, you know what I'm saying? Yes. A little extra flavor, a little extra spice. Mm. So that's got like 10 shots of liquor. Yeah, this is 64 pure ounces of Mountain Dew, Monster, Bud Light, and then just a shit ton of liquor. All right, this is how we're gonna <clears throat> mix it up. So when the Mountain Dew hits it, then that will put it, that will penetrate through the layers. <laughs> And you just swirl it around like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't even need no utensils or nothing. Oh, it's dank, YouTube. It's got orange in there. Mm. I guess those bitters have some like color to it. All right, it's through Bud Light, Jack Daniels, Monster, uh, and like other liquor. <laughs> Let's see what it do. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. Oh, you don't even know you two. <laughs> oh, oh, my phone's buzzing for some reason. Hello? What? <clears throat> no, I, I don't have a car, dude. I don't I don't drive. <clears throat> no. No no I didn't steal a car, dude. No, that was in Grand Theft Auto. I didn't steal a car in real life. Why are the police coming over here? <clears throat> oh my God. No, dude. That isn't even my car, dude. I don't have a car. Like, I'm saving up for one, you know? I gotta sell these wands. <clears throat> what do you mean I have to pay for the fire department coming over? God damn it! Fucking A, dude. No, I was probably one of my trolls. Fuck. Listen, I gotta go. I'm doing a food combo and a drink combo right now. And it's good, YouTube. You don't even, no. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna call you back. One of my trolls said something about, called the police and said that <clears throat> I did something with the car. And then I said, I don't have a car. So then it was something that they thought I stole the car. Dude. I go live on Chatterbait every morning when I wake up at 2 o'clock p.m. So I have proof and evidence. It's just my trolls are so fucking jealous because they're such fucking losers that I am do what I want and I get to live life as a YouTube celebrity yeah, with, with all the glitz and glamour. With food and beverage like this, who couldn't be jealous? <clears throat> That's what. Well, this drink goes out to all you fucking trolls out there. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? This is what I did to your mom's of age pussy last night. <laughs> oh god. Well, homeboy Jimmy, I just want to say thank you for having me over at your house. You know, <clears throat> we made some dank food, and it was good, YouTube. Yeah, and I might need to uh, clean up that chair after you leave, but it has been uh, an excellent <clears throat> experience. I enjoyed your home cooking and your delicious beverage, and uh, I look forward to more King Cobra meals in the future. Yeah, thanks for the booze. Uh, Yes. Well, that's another snack well tested. <clears throat> if you tried this recipe yourself, let me know in the comments what you think. 
And uh, I've been Simi and Jimmy. And make sure to follow me on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to check out the new Terrence Pop video tonight. And for all the of age goth girls out there, make sure to check out my Chatterbait page. Ah, yes. All right, well, I'll catch you later, tubes. Mm -hmm.